this is the reason why a lot of you the employers are not looking at your cv guys in this video i'll be talking about cv in this video i am going to review my cv with you guys i am going to tell you how to present your cv well i will review to you what employers look for in a good cv i will teach you what to do to your cv before you apply to any job okay i will also be talking about things that you should add to your cv experiences that you can put in your cv and experiences that you should never put in your senior carer or healthcare assistant cv okay also in this video i will talk about those nurses or doctors or those in the health background that wants to apply as a senior carer i will tell you things you should do and things that you shouldn't do to secure this job what this video is all about okay so if this sounds interesting to you and it's what you want to watch please continue watching come with me if you find any value in my video like comment and share so that others will benefit okay let's spread the good news together there's a chip my ends are split i flex my fancy bag but we all know it's counterfeit guys welcome back to yet another beautiful and informative vlog guys this is a video that everyone have been looking up to and trust your baby girl the only queen of positivity on the streets i always deliver as i promise okay if you're new to the channel my name is adeze onyeka I'm a Nigerian vlogger and I currently live in the United Kingdom with my lovely family. If you are joining us for the first time, if you are a positive person and you love to belong to the positivity gang, what are you waiting for? Hit the red button down below and subscribe to this positivity gang family. Okay? To my returning subscribers, uh-huh. You guys are the real MVP. Thank you guys for always tuning in to support your baby girl. Trust me, I'm not taking your love for granted, okay? Thank you guys. So guys, you all are welcome. And without wasting your time, let's go right into the video. So you guys, before I proceed, I want to say this. Every information in this video is worth it. So after the CV review, the next video coming up will be the cover letter. Like I said, CV and cover letter are five and six. They are twins. They go together. So I will review the cover letter separately. I wanted to upload the interview questions on Sunday. But because of the importance of the cover letter, I will be uploading that on Sunday. Like I said initially, everything coming up on this channel will come one after the other according to their order of importance. We all know that your CV must be selected first before you start talking about interview, right? So because of that, let's sort everything concerning the application, then we talk about the interview. How does that sound? Well, do let me know in the, in the comment section if you prefer the cover letter first or the interview questions then going forward a lot of you reached to me to open a a telegram group okay guys i have talked about it and i i will open one before this video comes up the telegram group will be in the description box on the telegram group i will be posting job vacancies for you guys and be telling you guys some things that i cannot say on the screen okay here we don't know who is watching so there are some inner inner things i might want to say 
I will say it in the Telegram group. Okay, and if time permits me, any day I have chance, we might go live on Telegram and I will answer your live questions. If that is interesting to you, you might click the link on the description box and join our Telegram group. Guys, it is no news that UK employers does not read your CV. That's it. UK employers don't read your CV. This is how it works. As an engineer, as someone that has gone far in programming, this baby girl here, I program very well. I'm good with Python. I'm good with C++. I program very well, yes. <laughs> so that's the story for another day, okay? So guys, this is how it works. The UK, the, the employers here have a system, okay? This is a programmed system. What does it do? When they collect the whole CV, they will put it into the system. The system will select the CV based on the ones that have the keywords they are looking for. Maybe they, they are looking for someone that um, has a communication skill. And once the system see the test communication skill in your CV, it will pick you. That's how they do their CV. So sometimes you see some people say, Eh, your CV should not be more than one page. Your CV should not be more than two pages. Hey, who says so? The CV that gave me this job is four pages. And I got the job. Sometimes, let me just hit you. Let me hammer this. What matters is quality, not quantity. The content of your CV is the cocoa. What you have on your CV is the deal, guys. So don't listen to anybody telling you, shut in your CV, baby. Shut it. Shut it. <laughs> Sometimes, in the process of making your CV to be short, you miss the necessary information that the employers are looking for. You miss the right information that your employer wants to see in your CV. What does that say already? Mm, red flag. So, in that case, the queen of positivity is saying to you now, quality is the surest in any CV and not quantity. Okay? That doesn't mean you should make your CV to be 100 pages or less than 10 pages. No! 4 pages, 5 pages is not bad. So far, you can communicate what the employer seeks for in your CV. That's it. The way you arrange your CV matters a lot. There are the things that the employer wants to see in your CV. And you have to make sure that these things come first. You can't just, after your summary, you have rushed to job experience. No. What about your, your expertise? What about your skills? These are what the employers are looking for. Before an employer will think about looking at your experience, he or she wants to make sure you have the necessary skills that they want. So you have to push your skills forward so that your employers will be like, oh, oh, we need someone that is respectful. Oh, she is respectful. Okay, okay. Since she is respectful, let's look at her experience. That's how it works. And like I said, it's a system that does these things in most cases. It's only a small organization that might, want, that might want to start reading people's CV. But guys, the way people are applying for these positions, hey, my goodness, nobody will sit down to read these things. <laughs> hey, trust me, nobody will do that. It's too much. So you guys, let's go into this video. Trust me, I don't want this video to be too long. Let's go and review your baby girl's CV. After reviewing this CV, I will show you how to what to do to your CV before you apply to any job. Like I said, don't skip this video and come and start asking me things I have said in this video. Take your time. I don't want to watch this video and at the end of the day, you have nothing to gain. That's why I always take my time to make my content. And give you the whole information you need. Please, relax and watch this. While I'm reviewing the CV, I will be telling you the bullet points you need to know. So please, not after I spend all this energy to do this and you will come back to 
still asking me the same things I said in the video. Guys, come on, it's not making sense. I'm a mom, I'm a wife. I have motherly duties to perform. I have wifely duties to perform. And I will still go to work. Please, let's make these things easier for myself and yourself. Okay? So guys, permit me to say this. If you have been applying for this job, yes, I know you have been a teacher. I know you have worked other places. I know you have worked places that are not in the health field. Please don't include that in your CV. I beg of you. For instance, I'm an engineer. I cannot start talking about the oil companies I worked while well in Nigeria and all that. No, because it's not related to the subject matter. This is not what your employer wants to see. There is no connection. Your employer is not interested if you ever worked outside the health field. No, they just want to see the experience you have in the health field. They want to see what you can bring on the table for them if they employ you. They want to be sure you have at least handled a sick person. You have at least handled a vulnerable person. You have at least taken care of someone. No matter if it's a paid job or a voluntary job. So please, every other job experience you have, carry it and trash it. Let me use the word. Mm, lift it and trash it, okay? Let it remain in the bin, right? Why we focus on the subject matter, which is the senior carer or the healthcare assistant, as the case may be. Okay, guys. Another set of people I want to talk about is those that are nurses or doctors or medical lab scientists or those in the health field generally that wants to come to the United Kingdom as a senior carer. Yes, this set of people, please, when you are applying, you have to put your experience as a senior carer. Well, when you are putting your education, you will still put you are a nurse, you are a medical doctor. But you have to show that we are employing you as a senior carer. We want you to do the job of a senior carer. And that's it. It's very simple and straight to the point. And yes, if you are a nurse, you will do the 15 care courses. That is what qualifies you to be a carer. That you are a nurse does not mean you will be doing the 15 care courses. No. Right? Yeah. It's something that prepares you for the job ahead so please forget about your nursing background the way i forgot about my engineering background right forget about your doctor background and focus on the subject matter then if you volunteer in a hospital and you need like two work experience you can say you volunteer for a loved one it can be your mother grandmother grandfather siblings Anyone that have been sick at all, that you have the opportunity to look after, is is care, is experience. You can just write in the experience um, section the things you need for the person. It's very much accepted. It's far better than putting your experience as a teacher or putting your experience as an engineer. Please, let's stick to the subject matter. This is the reason why a lot of you... The employers are not looking at your CV. Trust me, this is one of the reasons, okay? You should always stick to the subject matter. Guys, with this being said, let's hop into the CV review. Mm, come with me. Come closer. Let's have a look and see what it is like. Let's go, guys. Here is my CV, guys my senior carer cv i am reviewing to you today okay guys you can see my name rachel onyek adese bordry written and beside it i wrote senior carer right okay here is doha qatar where i lived here is my email address here is my mobile number please i'm sorry i have to cover this mobile number okay. here is my international driver's license okay now the next thing you see here is the professional profile guys 
look at how short it is and straight to the point and i will read it out i said i am a highly motivated compassionate empathic and understanding senior carer that accomplishes her assigned responsibilities with little or no supervision i am particularly skilled in taking care of vulnerable adults and the elderly suffering from dementia and parkinson's disease including those with different mental and physical disabilities i have displayed great commitment towards helping and caring for others both on and off duty also i have been a great team player all through my career working harmoniously with other team members to achieve the set aims and objectives of the organization additionally i develop quality relationship with patients and their relatives while maintaining a high level of professionalism in the discharge of my duties i have gained enough experience and good knowledge of the basic nursing procedures i have applied the cc's of nursing in my various roles i am in good physical emotional and mental state and can take adequate care of patients under my care i have undertaken a range of workplace training courses in health safety and care management Going down is the next is the area of expertise here i told my employer see what i can offer area of expertise means what can you offer if you employ you what are the areas that you are very good at i said i am i have elderly patient care hoist operation patient rehabilitation dementia care moving and handling reporting skills residential care shopping tips or trips creating care plans and reliability this is my area of expertise this is the area that i know that i am quite good at okay coming down the next thing your employer wants to see is your skills what skills do you have that we should employ you what skills do you have why should we employ you do you have the skills we need like i said if the employer have said to the program um, language that will detect your cv leadership skill if the if the program did not see leadership skill on your cv they will not pick you so i said good communication skills this is an amazing skill when you want to be a senior carer or a healthcare assistant leadership skill organizational skill i have good initiative empathetic and caring good team player respectful emotionally strong taking and recording observations good listener domestic help effective time management skills patience and good personal hygiene guys can you see that good personal hygiene that you can manage your time very well guys these are what employers are looking for these are what employers need in you can you see that coming down i now put courses attended you have to list all the courses you have attended on florence academy or anywhere that you did your course you can see i listed all my course one by one don't just say 15 care courses florence academy your employer might not know which one is 15 care courses the system might not detect what they, you mean by 15 care courses but when you write them one after the other the employer might tell the, the system we need somebody that have done duty of care once they cite duty of care in your cv you are picked this is the reason why a lot of you have not been called for any interview. Your CV is the problem. The system that is trying to identify this CV cannot identify your CV because you don't have the keywords that they are looking for. Now, you see where I wrote it. Understand your role. Florence Academy, United Kingdom. Duty of care. Florence Academy, United Kingdom. 
all these ones okay you can see it on the screen read them guys this is it privacy and dig look at my dementia care diabetes ad awareness medication administration food hygiene and the rest of them look at it can you well organized and going as planned according to how the employer wants to look at it now what else i do to stand my cv i always put my core value through qualities i used to tell my employer these are the qualities i possess there is a difference between qualities there is a difference between skills and qualities and expertise they are all different things qualities means things that are inborn in you come things in you that are follow come you did not learn it anywhere this is who you are that is your qualities you are telling your employer sir ma this is me when you call other kings this is who other kings is this is what distinguishes you from every other person looking for this job anybody can have good communication skill anybody can have leadership skill but not anybody can have these qualities that you possess as an individual so this is the more reason why you should add these qualities to your cv guys i added it to mine and it sold me now look at my qualities patience humor detail oriented i am a very cooperative person i am compassionate here i added all the cc's of nursing i am caring i am competent i am courageous i am committed to whatever i am doing that's commitment i can communicate verbally orally effectively i can communicate well i am well disciplined very important i am disciplined attentiveness i listen i can listen trustworthiness you can trust me the patients can trust me i am trustworthy i can keep your confidentiality tight dependability i am so dependable flexibility i am very flexible what do you want me to do what shifts you can you want me to do i am flexible this is me selling myself further to the employer after the core qualities now i came down to my professional experience guys are you taking note of how these things are moving now march 2021 to present Senior Care Hamad Medical Corporation, Doha, Qatar. Look at my experience. Be, don't do what every other person is doing. Okay? One, I said, I provide the highest level of personal care and attention to residents by following individual care plans carefully and ensuring that all contact is polite, friendly, warm, and supportive. I also act as a key worker for all residents ensuring these responsibilities are carried out in full as defined in the training manual you see it i said the second one i said i liaise with other care professionals relating to the care needs of the residents now and i'm trying to tell my employer that i'm indirectly that i am a team player the next i said i participate in the formulation and maintenance of individual care plans for each resident and administer medication to residents as prescribed, accurately maintaining appropriate records for both. I went ahead to tell them, I am responsible for making and changing beds, tidying residents' room with the residents' permission, undertaking light cleaning duties as needed, and generally assisting in ensuring that the home is kept clean, pleasant, and welcoming at all times. I told them, I am understanding and patient towards residents and their needs. And I encourage, assist, and support residents to participate in leisure activities as appropriate to the individual, ensuring their social and emotional needs are met. This also includes escorting residents to outside appointments and leisure outings. I help to serve meals and drinks at meal times and other times when required, taking care to prepare and present meals and refreshments 
in an appealing way with polite and cautious service. I am understanding with residents who need assistance with feeding and provide the appropriate level of support and help. I assist with looking after the physical my key achievements. While I was working here, I told my employer, these are the things I achieved. I have received compliments by patients' family, supervisor and co-workers as exceptional, courageous and committed healthcare worker. I have successfully assisted 300 plus patients in a week. I have successfully adhered to proper infection control and prevention. I am telling my employer, look at my key achievements, see what I can achieve. Coming down, I mentioned to them the equipment I have handled. I have handled the thermometers, the wheelchairs, the sphygmometer, the ECG machines, the patient monitors, the hospital stretchers, the ear thermometer, computer, clipboard, glucometer. I'm still trying to tell them I can do computation work. Guys, look at my second my second experience. 2018 to 2019, Senior Care and Mayor Hospital and Maternity, Lagos, Nigeria. See what I did. I clean linen regularly and adhere to strict compliance with infection control policies and procedures. That's why I'm working here. Key achievement. Identifying relevant information and observation gotten from patients by categorizing, estimating, recognizing differences or similarities, and detecting changes in circumstances or events, and reporting them to the nurse and ward manager for immediate and urgent care. Assisted patients throughout the assessment process and provided them with relevant education, which increased positive relative feedback by 50%. Certificates. Guys, I told my employer, see the certifications I have. Guys, all these certificates were awarded to me in my former employment. I was given sepsis certification, infection prevention and control, Qatar early warning system, environmental safety, fire safety, immunization and vaccination, basic life support, electrocardiogram. All these certificates, guys, I gave it to my employer. I, I added it to the ones I got in Florence and health and fitness. Everything was in one PDF. Okay? Now, languages. English language. IELTS. Overall by score of 7.0. That's it. Now, I have told my employer, I have written IELTS and I have it. Are we, am I communicating? Education. Look at what I said in my education. May 2022. Start from the recent down to the last. Diploma in health and social care. Comma. I didn't put the place I did it, but it's fine. May 2022. Care certi certificate standard 1 to 15, Florence Academy. So this first one, you can put comma, the place you got your diploma. 2016. I graduated from University of Nigeria on soccer. A B engine in mechanical engineering. That's my first degree. You can see I did not hide my face in degree. I still let my employer know that I'm a graduate and an engineer for that matter. Is here. I didn't hide it. 2010. SSCE, Queen of the Rosary College, Onicha, Anambra State. References available upon request. Guys, that is it for my CV. That's all. You can see how this CV is straight to the point. You can see how neat this CV is and it's straight to the point. Because clap for this girl. Clap for me. <laughs> Guys, look at my CV. Can you see how neat it is? Can you see how detailed it is? Can you see how informative it is? Right? So, guys, after looking at that CV, if you are an employer, will you employ me or not? Answer me in the comment section. Will you? That's it. My CV says a lot. Sure, you will want to employ me because I have given you all the details about me 
and things you might that might interest you. I told you everything. I even tell you who I am, the qualities, what makes me so special. Hmm? So guys, that is what a CV should look like. If you are seeing this CV, please go back to your CV. Look at mine and adjust your CV. Please don't copy my CV verbatim. This is just a guide. Let me tell you guys what to do before you submit your CV to any employer. Guys, like I said in the beginning, UK employers, they use a system, okay, to detect your CV. And if the keyword they are searching for is not on that CV, sorry, no matter how good, how sweet your CV is, it should not be picked. As I am sitting in front of you, I have over 100 CVs. <laughs> it's crazy, right? right? I sound weird. I'm not worried. That's it. Once I see a job vacancy, the next thing I will want to do is to read the job description. Very important. Whenever I read the job description, I will modify my CV to suit that job description. Am I making sense? If an employer said, we need somebody that, that is empathetic, Guys, I will make sure empathetic is in my skills. I will change my skills to what that employer is looking for. Are you getting it now? Then when I come to the job descriptions, I will copy their job descriptions and go and put in my job description. Why? So that the, their system will identify my CV. Once you do this thing, hey, if you people adopt these things I said, Test money will flow in this family. Hey, You people will come to, with your testimonies. So always make sure that what that employer is looking for, you have it. So don't just be applying to job. No. This process, if you, it's better you take your time and do it well. It's not about how many you applied in a day, but how well. It's not how far, but how well. Don't say, eh, people, there's too much job. People are applying 10,000 times. Let me, no. It is not how far, but how well. Even if it's only two jobs you can apply in a day, make sure it's worth it. Take it home. Make sure it is worth it. Okay? I hope I'm communicating. So before you apply to any job, relax your nerves, read the job description, Read everything that the employer needs from you before you apply. So you guys, I hope I was I am I am able to impact knowledge and a good information to you guys in this video. In my next video is I will talk about my cover letter, very important. And in that cover letter, I will look for a job vacancy and show you people how to identify what the employer needs and amend your CV. I will try and do that, okay? And then review my cover letter. And in that next video, I will show you the best way to send your CV and the offer letter to your employer to get noticed quickly. I will do that in the next video, okay? So guys, watch out for the next video coming up on Sunday, okay? So... Guys, at this junction, this will be the end of this amazing video. And if you got value in this video, I didn't ask you for any money. A lot of people will ask you for money to give you this information. People ask for money to write your CV for you. If you get value in this video, hit the red button and support me. If you get value in this video, hit the like button. If you get value in this video, share this video so that other people will get this information and apply. Like I always say, the sky is big enough to contain any bird. Any bird can fly. The more you are doing good to people, the more God will bless you. 
So bless someone's life by sharing this video to them, liking this video, and subscribing to this family. Your subscription, like I said, will make me to come out to, you know, do more. Trust me. And by the way, thank you, family, for your support. I'm seeing your family. I'm seeing you guys. I am feeling you guys. Thank you guys, okay? At this junction, I will be drawing the line. And positivity gang, gang, gang. Guys, if you watch till this moment, you know who you are. You are the real, real, real MVP, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys for staying with your baby girl. Thank you, Positivity family. Let's spread positivity. Let's be good to each other. At the end of the day, we shall all testify. Thank you guys for staying. And I will see you all on Sunday in my next video. Okay? Bye, guys! Bye!